What's going on guys? So today we're going to do an unboxing and review of the SJ Cam. This is the SJ6 Legend. Over here we have the uh, SJ6, SJ7 uh, charger and mount to put in your vehicle. And over here we have the SJ6, SJ7 uh, microphone as well. So individually priced, the SJ6 Legend is $159. This uh, kit right here, the mount kit for it is $13, and the external microphone runs $18. So let's go ahead and jump in to the camera first, and we'll look at the rest of these in a minute. All right, so what we have here is 300 meter water resistance. This is the Action Cam 2.0 touchscreen gyro anti-shake, which is a really good thing to have so that you can uh, you know, do action shots without a whole bunch of uh, Shaking this going on, you have two screens. You have a screen in the front and a screen in the back. It does 4K um, high definition at 24 frames per second. Wi-Fi enabled as well. On the back here, we've got some specifications, which I will go over with you real quick. It's a 16 megapixel Panasonic sensor, 166 degree A plus high definition wide angle lens, uh, 16 megapixel. We'll get into the video, which is 4K 2880 by 2160 at 24 frames per second interpolated, though. Uh, 2K 2560 by 1440 at 30 frames a second, 1080, 1920 by 1080 at 60 and 30 frames a second. JPG.MOV.MP4. It's got a 1000 milliamp hour detachable battery. Slot for micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes. Select cards up to 64 and 128. Um, USB 2.0, HDMI, Wi-Fi, uh, external mic, and all that other stuff. Windows XP, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's enough of that. Let's just jump into the box and see what we get. Really nice looking packaging. Here is our camera. We'll set that to the side. Jump in. Oh, wow. It comes with a lot of accessories, doesn't it, guys? All right, guys. So you get a lot in this box, all right? Aside from getting this awesome camera, you get the waterproof case, which is also really good to have in case you're dropping your device or something. Uh, definitely important. You've got a lens cap right here. We've got... I'm going to start moving these out of the way as we go over them. We've got a uh, handlebar mount. Of course, it could be used for things other than handlebars, but you get the idea. Um, we've got the basically a thin frame right here for it, uh, so you can still mount it to things because the camera doesn't actually have any way of mounting it unless you use one of the uh, included tripod mounts. Like, you've got these right here with uh, swivels. You can install this on a tripod with no problem, but if you're wanting to mount it to, like your handlebars or something, you're going to need this. Uh, if you don't want the waterproof case with it. We've got this waterproof back door. This is the touch capable uh, back door that's waterproof up to 10 feet. Um, and guys, we've got an assortment of sticky mounts, more sticky mounts, um, more sticky mounts, and then we've got all kinds of swivels and, and just absolutely loaded. We've got more pads right here. We've got a, a booklet. We've got some stickers if you want to put them on your car, or your motorcycle or something. We've got your data cable right here. And we've got a cleaning cloth. So that concludes what comes in the box. Absolute amazing value for the money, guys. All right, guys. So right here, you're looking at the car kit for the SJ Cam. Um, links for all of this will be in the description. Let's go ahead and pop it open. Get the box out of the way. And here's what we're left with. All right, so here we have our suction mount. It's very sturdy, it feels great. You simply take your SJ cam here, you screw this onto the bottom of it like so. Tighten this up. And there you go. Now you have a really versatile mount for your windshield or whatever else you want to stick it to. Um, included in this pack is a car charger, as you can see right here. It's got a little LED right here, and there is the charging port on the back. And here we have the external microphone, which I think this is absolutely awesome right here. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box so we can take a look at it. 
throw the box out of the way. All right, so here we have the microphone, we have the SJ Cam. You simply take the USB port right here and you plug it directly into the SJ Cam, at which point you now have a nice little mic that you can clip to your shirt or whatever else. I mean, if you're in the car, you could clip this to a, a sun visor or something. All right, so let's take a look at the SJ6 Legend itself. All right, I want to do a much closer look at this thing. So you've got a little display on the front. You've got your lens here. Turn it to the bottom. This is where you can mount it to a tripod or whatever else. You open up this door right here to reveal your removable battery. Let's close that. On the side, we have your SD card slot. We have your data cable and we have a MIDI HDMI cable. We have a speaker right here. We have a microphone hole right here. On the back is your touch screen and it is a fingerprint magnet guys. So be prepared for that. We've got your uh, tactile buttons, power and menu. Hold the power button. SJ cam on the front, the back. We've got a really intuitive menu, very easy to use. Uh, you've got your resolutions, 4K at 24, 2K at 30, 1080 at 60, 1080 at 50. All right, we've got your loop recording mode, um, your field of view, wide, middle, narrow. And I'm not gonna spend much time going through all of the options on this, guys. Um, there's your settings with your language, date, time, format your F SD card, uh, TV mode, fast record, quick photo, small screen display. It just it just goes on and on and on and on, guys. And the touchscreen works really, really well. This is a really nice and well-built camera. It feels good in the hand. Uh, it does not feel cheap. Um, it's soft, but with kind of a rubbery feel to it. Definitely feels good. Definitely feels like a really good quality camera. Now let's go try out some video footage of the camera as well as the uh, audio quality as well. And we'll be back.
right now what you see is the SJ6 and what you hear is the audio quality coming from the internal mic to the camera. Here in just a second, we're going to switch over to the external microphone that clips to your collar here, and hopefully we'll be able to tell a, a noticeable difference. All right, so as you can see, we are now using the external mic to the camera, and unfortunately, I, I can't tell you while I'm recording this whether or not the external mic is worth getting or not, but by the time you watch this video, you should be able to tell for yourself. You don't need me to tell you if you can hear a noticeable improvement in audio quality when using the external mic. Now, final thoughts on this cam are as follows. I recorded everything in 4K. I wanted this entire review video to be done with this camera in 4K, maxed out everything. And what I noticed is that when you do run it at its uh, maximum capabilities, you will notice some, uh, it almost looks like dropped frames. And I think the reason is because it does not run at 4K 30 frames a second. None of my other cameras have a problem at all when you run 4K at 30 frames a second. There's no drop frames. The video is ultra smooth. This particular camera can be a little bit jerky at times, but I do want to stress that when you drop it to 2K or you drop it even lower to 1080p at 30 or 60 frames a second, guys, it's ultra smooth. So why didn't, why didn't I include any of that footage for you guys? Well, the issue is because this was all done in 4K, if I were to throw a 1080 video into a 4K video, it's going to look absolutely horrible because it's going to try to upscale 1080 to 4K. If I were to take 4K and drop it down to 1080, basically downscale it, then I'm not doing the 4K video any justice either. So it's in the best interest of an honest review to run the camera maximum settings and let you see exactly what you're going to get. But I do want to stress that at 2K or down to 1080, guys, the video is ultra smooth. I really do believe it's just because it doesn't have enough of uh, frame rate. Uh, 30 frames a second is really what you need on 4K at a minimum to give you that ultra smooth video. So, uh, you know, if you wanna run 2K, you wanna run 1080, it's absolutely great. You wanna run 4K all the time. You know, if you can handle the way this video looked, absolutely, you know, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It just looks a little choppy from time to time. But uh, hey, you know, considering this camera is $160, guys, uh, compare that to the price of a GoPro, okay? It's a versatile camera. I had this thing stuck all over the outside of the car. It was being hit with debris, hit with water and things of that nature. The camera survived. It's a very tough camera. It's built sturdy. I've got no issues with the camera other than just a little bit of jerkiness when you're running it at full resolution. Um, so guys, comment below. Tell me what you think. Links will be in the description if you want to pick this up or any of the accessories. I'd like to thank SJ Cam for sending me this product to review. And I look really, really forward to reviewing your SJ7 whenever that is released because I got a feeling that camera is going to be jam-packed with amazing features and I look forward to doing a review of it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe out there.